Now as the cars stack up at the entrance to the pit road, that's the hit that Kendrick was talking about. And while doing that, Kozlowski runs into the back of Tony Stewart, so then this. Now, Casey Kane angry about that penalty, but it's a computerized timing system on pit road. It's kind of like those red light cameras, and here's what he said. We were going to get run over by a wrecked car because of their wet pit road, and they're going to penalize us? Yeah, we're going to go another lap here. I, I, I feel for him. I really do. I understand we saw what happened, and uh, it's a shame, but... You know, the rules are the rules, and that's the, that's the job of the officials to, to make the calls. Jimmy Johnson, at the beginning of the race, had a top ten race. Oh, car, Sterling. Got oh, Sterling's caution. getting turned around. Down in turn three. There goes the leader. He got spun around by uh, Jerry Nadeau. Oh, Jerry down, Nadeau. Down. He's on pit road. No caution. No caution. Oh, he, he was trying to pit. And that's how and Jerry got Nadeau got in the back of the car glove. Boy, that's sliding it onto pit road. Way, Thor. Three, two, one. In the block, four tires. Steve? Well, Mike, looking at the rear end of that number 40 car, I don't see any damage to the body of Sterling Marlins Dodge. No chassis adjustments for now, but he is going to be penalized for being too fast coming down pit road. Now, earlier, we had said that Marlin would be penalized for being too fast on pit road. That was the judgment of the NASCAR officials here in the tower. The call, however, did not get down to the official in charge of Marlin's pit in time for the penalty to be assessed while he was there. So, NASCAR has decided not to bring him back in and enforce what would end up being a, 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 an overly harsh penalty for the crime. Yeah, well, I think what, I mean, spinning out, or almost spinning out, cost himself a lot of time down there, you know, trying to get on pit road. It wasn't his fault. Denny Hammond was fined $25,000 by NASCAR for comments he made after Phoenix. And unfortunately, this is the story of the 2013 season. I, I'm not going to try to be the pessimist, but it, it wasn't as good as I would hope. But there's a lot of room for improvement for this car. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to take a little while for us to, to get uh, these cars driving as good as what we had the, the Generation 5. Wow. Denny Hammond gave his opinion. His opinion. Hey, he didn't threaten anyone or say the car was junk. He just said it was a work in progress. And for that, got fined? NASCAR, isn't that what you've been saying this entire time? That it's a work in progress? So, what's wrong with Denny saying that? It's his opinion. That's the beauty of NASCAR. We do allow the drivers to express themselves in that way, even if they say things that we would disagree with. <laughs> Still there. Still there. All clear. All clear. We have trouble. It's Jeff Gordon. He clocks the wall to the outside of turn three. No caution. No caution. Where is he? I'm getting his ass. It's 24. He's probably looking for you. I know he's a moron for doing it. You need to be on your toes when you get to him. What did he do? I mean, I, I just barely accidentally touched him. He hit me in the right rear. Do what you gotta do to get by him. I'll give him a chance to wreck you. Next car behind you is the 15. Eight back, five back. He's stopping now. He's stopping. He's turning Clint Boyer into the wall. All right, the fine for Jeff Gordon, $100,000 docked 25 points, but no suspension or parked, as we call it, in NASCAR. Appropriate? Should there have been something more severe? Oh, yeah. His butt should be sitting at home in his apartment really? in New York. Really? You would have parked? Where... Yeah, shoot, yeah. I, I think we go back, but I think it's another time that NASCAR is inconsistent on what they do. I, I think if we use the Carl Edwards situation when he wrecked Brad a couple of years ago, they did nothing. Whoa, hands off. We didn't, nothing happened. 
that was premeditated. Carl sat in the garage area, went out and wrecked the two car. This was premeditated. If we use the, the 15, or if we use the Kyle Bush incident last year, he took Hornaday's chance of a championship away. That had championship implications, and they set him out. Now, the argument is, well, look at all that Kyle Bush did. If NASCAR had stepped into Kyle Bush when he first started doing stuff, we wouldn't have got to that point. This had but championship implications. This had championship implications. That was under caution with Kyle Bush. That was something that was important in terms of safety to the sport. Yeah, the, for, it's all important as far as safety goes. You can't throw safety out on one wreck and not throw but safety out. But your guard out. is down a little bit when you're under caution. Doesn't make any difference. Hornaday's what? He was looking in the mirror yeah, thinking, what the heck's he thing. doing? But when you look at the 24, the 24 should have been parked. But I said it the other night. They're not going to park him because he's Jeff Gordon. Four times. Okay? They're not going to park him. And they didn't. And $100,000 and 25 points when you're already falling like a rock and you've already got more money than God, then it doesn't make any difference. So I think when you look at it, it, right. it doesn't hurt anything. I'm not going to change his mind. home. I don't like the Kyle Busch comparison home. of the body of work It's there, the but, perfect. But, it's the perfect Michael, comparison. Michael, uh, fair. I know you're in a, sitting in a different spot. Of Dale Jr. now two-thirds of a lap down, continuing to fade, Matt. is instructed when you see the caution slow down to pace lap speed he brought the caution that he needed and it worked out just perfect and jeff gordon will get the pardon he'll be back on the lead lap here with about 60 to 70 laps to go well you know you make your own luck and he just, just made a whole pot full of it <laughs> dale jr spins to bring out the eighth caution of the day Jeff Gordon took the lead here with about 23 laps to go. And as he was checking out, Harvick's teammate, Paul Menard, he's 80 laps down. And he spins here with about 18 to go. Now, here was a 24 team's radio a little later after the checkered flag. How'd that 27 spin, Jeff? Did you see that? Somebody told me. I don't, but I, don't, yeah, I didn't see it. I was chasing down the 47, I'm sorry. That's all right. Karma will come back to haunt you. That's very interesting. So, you know, we went back and listened to the final 70 laps. Here was this, just prior to 60 laps to go. Keep in mind, Paul was involved in a crash with the 17 and might have been looking for a little payback against old Matt. But Harvick is leading at this point. 29 cars lead by two seconds right now. Do not need a cause. 60 laps to go, 60. Do not need a caution, correct? Hit four. So, let's continue. I think you got right rear going now. Hit four. I'll look at it. Just, just maybe until we find out. We need to finish. Back off till you're sure. Now, just to be clear, when Paul suspected his right rear was going down, he wasn't advised to come to pit road, even though he was 80 laps down and everybody behind him was out of the race. Why stay out on the track and risk damaging your car or taking someone else out when it's impossible to lose any more spots? I think I know what went on here, but there was a lot of very interesting circumstantial chatter. I think NASCAR needs to take a look at this And your arm's starting to hurt. I bet it's hot in there, itching. Oh, yeah. Right with you, 88. Right with you. Right with you. Right with you. But the last that I knew, the 22 had the last wild card spot, and neither of us had a, you know, neither me or Ryan had it. So I just knew on that last restart I had to try to keep up with him the best I could because I knew, you know, based on going into the race where the points were, we had to stay close to each other. Um, I didn't even know that the 15 brought out the caution until after the race. 